security and refugees taking those concerns seriously. I'm Brian Lilly with the Rebel.media. The new Liberal government in Ottawa seems to take seriously the prospect of bringing 25,000 Syrians to Canada by the end of the year. The one thing they don't seem to be taking seriously is the question of security and screening all through the election campaign. Whenever the issue of security screening was brought up or security being a concern, well, those raising the questions were told you're fear mongering. Now in the wake of the Paris terrorist attack where at least one had entered Europe through Greece only in October as a Syrian refugee, where we've got French police arresting yet another terrorist at the, the refugee camp in Calais trying to get from France into Britain, where we've got Italy arresting a, a known terrorist coming in on a boatload of migrants from Tunisia, and the German police saying that they've got at least 10 different security investigations going on into people who are supposedly refugees, but are thought to be either terrorists or war criminals. With all of that, how can Canada be immune? And yet, the Liberal government presses ahead with their plan. And part of that plan is to do security screening on Canadian soil. On CTV's question period, Bob Fife, the host of the program, asked Public Safety Minister Ralph Goodale, a man who should be well briefed on this file, whether that was a good idea. Listen to the question and then Goodale's almost non-answer. Now, some of them will be screened, though, on a military basis here in Canada. If there's a problem, we know our law makes it difficult to send them back. But our law also uh, provides the authority to uh, uh, to deal with them domestically within Canada if that becomes if that becomes necessary. Uh, but the important point is to make sure that the security screening, screening is uh, is thorough and competent in the first place. Uh, and my officials are working with the immigration officials, uh, with uh, the RCMP, with CSIS, with international agencies uh, to make sure that this is as as uh, thorough and competent and effective as possible. Can it be 100% foolproof? Well, nothing in life is is 100 percent. Goodale is dismissive, saying, well, the important thing is to do the screening. But Fife raised a very good question. Our laws make it difficult to kick people out once they're here. I've been covering immigration cases at the federal court for long enough to know that, well, it's not going to happen. If we bring in someone who doesn't pass the security test, they're going to be our problem. They're going to stay on Canadian soil whether it's the, the man from Vietnam that well, the court worried he couldn't get his, uh, his medication if he was sent back after violently attacking and taking hostage a, an elderly couple running a convenience store, or the more recent story, a 26-year-old man from Somali. His name is Salah Awil Abdidhali. He came to Canada in 2005. He has been arrested uh, 135 times. He's had 22 different convictions. This is a man that should be kicked out, but the federal court said due to his brain injury and alcoholism, he is Canada's problem. Is it going to be any different if we bring in refugees from Syria who turn out to be terrorists or war criminals? We are going to be stuck with them. If the Liberal government wants to press ahead with its plan, which I'm not sure that it should at this point, I think that we should all be taking a big long pause in the wake of the Paris attacks and other incidents throughout Europe. But if it's going to press ahead, then it at least needs to stretch out the timeline, take security seriously and do the screening overseas rather than bringing people en masse to Canadian military bases and then starting the screening process, making them subject to the charter, to court challenges, all on our dime.